everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. It is the uh, that time of the month again. It's the beginning of a new month. It's October. And I'm going to show you the pages I completed in September. I've got quite a lot of books actually. I think it's about 17 or 18. I'm not actually sure now. There's, there's quite a few. So we're going to crack on and I'm going to get through them. There are some patterns, a lot of patterns to be honest, and there are some genuinely nice pictures that I've also done so it feels like it's been forever this month so the first one is from uh, Jade Summers 100 Magical Patterns and I did this with my neon sharpies that I got from Lidl's I just wanted to use them I thought it'd be just nice just to do a, a pattern with just the neons I do like this kind of book so so yeah that was just done with neon sharpies although there wasn't a green I believe in the neons I had to get yeah no green so I actually put a, got a neon green out of my normal sharpies and put that in as well so the second one I did was for, again there's a lot of Jade Summer because I have a lot of Jade Summer books I did one in Ocean I'm trying to do a picture in every single book I've got which is why you'll see lots of Jade Summer though the patterns I tend to like doing when we're quizzing because it's something to do in between and I just did the cover page and this was done with I want to say, I'm not sure, it was either Twymarkles or Limache, I'm not sure. It was Limache because I'm looking at the greys. And that, that was fun to do. Um, I know I haven't put first impressions of the Limache up, so um, I've, I've got to finish filming it. It's practically done. So it'll be up after I've done part two of the Castle Arts, which will be up in the next day or so. So uh, there's that one. Uh, we did a page from Nightfall. God, I thought this was months ago, but actually it was in September. It was right at the beginning of the month. And we did this one. We did this one on camera, I think. I thought she's so cute, little sunflower girl. I think that was Black Widow's probably. <laughs> Knowing me. I like that one though, it's cute. Um, stained glass flowers. Again, this is Jade Summer. Um, and this was just done with sh Sharpies, I believe. Looks like Sharpie colours. Yeah, Sharpies, I'd say. Yeah, it was Sharpies. And I, I like, I like this one. I like this book. It's just stained glass patterns. Just, again, it's a pattern book. It's a, do, I'll probably do one in glitter pens at some point. Because you know me and my glitter pens. Oh, yeah, there will be glitter pen books. Uh, pictures. Just bear with me. There will be. So that was number four. Number five was... This was a new book, Jade Colour, Jade Colour, Jade Summer Colour by Numbers. I wasn't going to get it because I'm not big on colour by numbers, but I thought, it's Jade Summer, I have to have it. So I did this first one. This was done doing, yeah, this was done doing the, using the, the limaches. Yes, because I had to number them all. And then, of course, the numbers are different to these numbers, so it got a bit confusing. Um, but again, this was done for the limaches, and I've pulled out all the colours that match those from there, because I'll be just using the limaches in this one. So that one's number five. And number six is from Tales from the Midnight Masquerade from Hannah Carlson. I want to do this book in order so I literally have just done the title page and that was as you see done with my glitter gel pen so the next page over is the this book belongs to and I'll be doing that so I would like to do this in order um I think this is a lovely little book um one I'm going to take my time on and just enjoy doing back to Jade Summer and it's colour by number Mandala so this was their second colour by numbers they put out two in a row pretty much and again it's got the same uh, guide as the patterns and I did this one this is really pretty so I'm not a big colour by numbers person but I do quite like this book it is nice it's a nice book so how many is that? Sorry, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number eight was, again, one we did on camera, which was Chibi Girls and Chibi Girls Volume 2 by April Amber. And we did the Singing Girl. I love this picture. And this was done with um, Artie's the Everblend markers, the uh, Touch New Skin Tones, and various glitter gel pens, as you can see. It's very sparkly. I really love this picture. I think it's so sweet. I do like this one. So. And 
and this next one I finally finished intricate patterns this one has been hanging around for such a long time and I finally did it but again Jade Summer next month it won't all be Jade Summer <laughs> there will be a lot though as you can see this is in very very intricate this was done with the uh, Twy Markers by Artes Teaser I loved it actually I really enjoyed doing it but oh my god it was hard work because it's so detailed but I mean I'm gonna have to do one with the gel glitter gel pens aren't I I mean look at it it's beautiful it's one two three four five six seven eight, nine pictures so far number ten Sugar Skulls, Skull. I can't speak so nice. Sugar Skulls by Jade Summer. Again, this one was just done using neon gel pens. So I've got some normal ones and I've got some glitter ones on there as well. So you can see that on the eyes and the mouth and I think on the nose part here is the glitter but the rest of it is just normal neon. Number 10. And we did one in 100 Amazing Patterns. This is number 11. Again. Sharpies? No. This one was actually done with um, Crayola Super Tips. I couldn't think of what they were called then for a minute. And I really enjoyed that one. I just love, I love the colours. I think they're just so pretty bright and cheerful and I, I just really like it I've just had a really good patterny month I have I've coloured so many patterns it's unbelievable but I do like my patterns so can't really complain can I that one and then I finally did one in this really cute my little pony book so this was done with the Creeland um, brush markers from Lidl's. So these brush markers were only three ninety nine. So yes, there's a lot of streaking, but you know what? It was just really fun doing it with them. It really, really was. Just really enjoyed using them, and I will use them again on on various books, especially ones like this for simple colouring. As I get used to them, it'll get better. So. I, I enjoyed. I love that book. That book Jennifer's got as well. I did one in the art of colouring botanicals and I did this one and this one was also done with the Cree Lando fine uh, brush markers from Lidl's and it's just so flowery and bright I actually quite like it I enjoyed doing that page just sat there and just coloured it it was great it was so much fun yeah I enjoyed that then I've got one from 50 Easy Magdalas. Again, this is another Jade Sun book. I bought my mum a copy of this book. Um, she hadn't done anything yet, but I thought she, because she gets arthritis in her hands, it'd be easier for her to do bigger patterns with marker pens. She's got some Crayola marker pens of Jennifer's at her house, so she could use them. This Jennifer just leaves the tops off at here. We try, do try and get her to put them back on, but she doesn't. So I did the first two. So I did this one in just four colours. It's just a fun, a simple book. And the next one I did with glitter pens and I used gold, black and silver and that's all I used. So I used three. And that's that one. So there's two in that one. I like doing those. They're just so simple. They're just not at all complicated. If you just want something very quick and easy to colour, you just go, oh, I'm going to do one of them. It's just something fun. And then next, I've got, we're near the end now, guys. There's only like three more. I got one in the Jade Summer uh, Space Kids Colouring Book, which I bought just because for fun. I did the cover page, actually. And when I get to it, this is my cover page. And this was coloured with Crayola crayons, which I just bought for the fun of it. So I got the 96 set with the sharpener. And I just thought, I'm just going to, you know, every now and again, I'm just going to get a simple picture like this and colour it. I might use them in 50 Easy Mandalas as well. And I'm just going to colour like a child. And that's what that was about. And I really enjoyed it. Skin is, is just peach and it looks fine. And the alien's good colour. And different colours for the, 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 the space background. It took a while because it's been a long time since I've coloured with crayons. But you know what? I really, really enjoyed that. 
Well, I am looking forward to getting back to doing some serious pencil work, hopefully, as well as some marker work in, in the things. I haven't used the pencils much in the month, but uh, yeah, I like that one. It's so cute. And then the last but one is Jade Summer's Autumn book. I've had this for one, haven't done anything. And I did the title page. And as you can see, I've done it in glitter gel pens. I did run out of this blue and I had to use a slightly different colour, but it doesn't look too bad actually. And it's very shiny and sparkly. I really like that. And you know, the only thing I would say is if you're using gel pens in these books is put a piece of paper under here because the, the black does... Uh, run on to the next page but that doesn't matter because that, on that one it will cover it up nicely anyway it's not going to be a major problem when I decide to colour that one so I really like that autumn one and the final one I did was Fashionable 50s which we just finished the other day you would have seen the final episode on the first but I actually finished it on the 30th so it's, it just made it into September's so this is the last one this was done with um Arteza Everblend Markers, it was done with the Touch New Skin Tones and some glitter gel pens and Prismacolor pencils as well. Um, I'm still practicing going over with Prismacolor but as you can see on her face she's got a little bit of blush on which is pencil. There's some on the skirt, not much because I'm not used to it, you can see it but uh, just there just to give it a bit of definition. But I really enjoyed this picture, I really like this book a lot so I'm hoping to do some more in this one soon. So that's all the pages I coloured and I think that was what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17. So that was 18 pages that I coloured in the month of September. So how are we going to do in October? Remember I've got a week off work. Let's see. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave me a comment down below and share and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Sorry guys, this is a quick amendment to the completed pages. I, I actually missed one and that was the costume collection one that I did for the castle arts video. I just totally forgot about it and then I did the castle arts video and thought, oh, hang on a minute. I finished that one as well and I didn't show it. So obviously this picture was done with the Castle Arts. And what I think of them, you'll have to watch the second part of the Castle Arts um, first impressions video. But yeah, I did that with Castle Arts. She's pretty. It's not my favourite picture in the book, but I do actually like it. I did, I did pick it because there were lots of different things that I could do different colours. So. And that's it really. That really is the last one. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye guys.